الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد ما شاء الله او oh, this Um, lecture is entitled Al Hadith Al Da'if Al Mawdu'a Fi Shah Al Ramadan. Um, weak narrations and fabricated narrations in regards to the month of Ramadan. So we're going to the narrations are many. The weak narrations are many. The fabricated narrations are many. But we're going to focus on. Um, very few that those hadith are known to us. Okay. Uh, most of these hadith, they are on our screens, being um, uh, recited or narrated by imams on our manabir, on our mimbars, and TV stations, on social media. But before we move on to the hadith, I want to, I want to caution ourselves, myself, and yourselves from this kind of a hadith because we don't worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala with a hadith of da'ifa, a hadith, weak narrations, and also fabricated narrations. Okay, we don't worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala with fabricated a hadith on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam because the Prophet sallam he warned us not to lie against him. And also, the Quran also cautioned us not to work with uh, a narration or a narrative except that we are, um, except that it's authentic. We have to authenticate, investigate narration before we work with it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where He said, Ya ayuha ladhina amanu, idha ja'akum fasikum bi naba'in, fatabayyanu. Therefore, uh, in uh, the field of hadith, the scholar they don't accept a hadith of a fasik, right? Ida ja akum fasikum bi nabain fatabayyanu. Investigate it. So that's one key thing that we have to know. The Prophet also mentioned that man kaziba aliya mutaamidan falatabu wa maqadahu min al nar. Anyone who de deliberately fabricates lies against me or on my behalf. Because some people they say kathabna alahu wa ma kathabna alayhi. They said they we lied uh, on behalf of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam for him, and we didn't lie against him. Meaning they think that uh, lying uh, on behalf of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi or lying for the Prophet is a blessing. Like oh, I think we said the thing so that the people will get closer to Allah. But you said the Prophet said he didn't say that. You are not sure whether the Prophet said that or not, and you said it. And they said, كَذَبْنَا عَلَيْهِ وَمَا كَذَبْنَا عَلَيْهِ We lied for him. We didn't lie against him. These are all uh, forbidden in Islam. Whether lying for him or lying against him. Like Imam Suyuti, he said, He said, وَشَرُّهُمْ صُوفِيَّةٌ قَدَ وَضَعُمْ مُحْتَسِبُونَ أَجْرًا فِي مَا يَدَّعُمْ أي فِي مَا وَضَعُمْ the worst of them are the Sufiya, the Sufis. Adawada, they they have punch against the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam punch, katon, katon, amali katon, katon, on the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Tank, tank. Eh, forty feet ni ne tatolete. Container, container, container. Lies upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Wa sharruhum. Those who they are, we have, a, we have a, the Shia, the uh, how do you call the Mu'tazila, they are all there. Wa sharruhum, and the worst of them, Sufiyatun. Is the Sufiya, the Tijaniya, the Naqshbandiya, the Kullabi, the Sufiya. They are the worst of the. Lies on the Prophet. They have fabricated lies. 
the fabricator lies upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muhtasibina ajran fi ma yadda'u, ay fi ma wadu'u. And they are expecting, they demand reward from Allah. They desire reward from Allah for what they claim. The lies they are claiming. They say, yeah, we did it so that you get closer to Allah. They will say lies and then they say, oh, they, they said it so that you will get closer to Allah. So they have blessings for it. They desire blessings from their lies. So you can see this person will not repent because he has lied and he's demanding reward from Allah. Do we get it? I lied in your name, so pay me. It's like someone saying that. You've lied against the Prophet. You've lied on the Prophet and you are seeking reward from that. And the Prophet he said, anyone who deliberately lies upon me should prepare his seat in the hellfire. And then he said, Man kathiba aliyya. He said, if you, even this not deliberately, you, you go and then you find a hadith, which is a lie. But you, you didn't know it's a lie. You didn't know it's a lie. And you started to narrate it to people. You didn't know it's a lie, but you didn't know. You saw that Qala Rasulullah Sallallahu You didn't investigate. You, you are not a student of hadith. You are not a scholar of hadith, you are not a student of hadith. And you continue to report a hadith. You don't investigate a hadith. And you continue to narrate it to people. That the Prophet said, seek for knowledge even if it's in China. Uh, you continue to say those kind of things. Lies on, on the Prophet But you didn't know. Oh me, I was just, I didn't know it was a lie. And the Prophet said, وَيُرَى أَنَّهُ كَذِبٌ And when it is investigated, the scholars of hadith investigate it, or when the scholars or students of hadith investigate it, or when it is being investigated, it was found that it was a lie, or it is a lie. You see, you didn't know. You went to preach with it. You, you know, uh, we are all making da'wah to help. And your da'wah is to preach with what you don't know. And when it was invested, it was found that, oh, it is a lie. The prophet said, when I'm talking of people who lie against me deliberately, the prophet said, you are one of them. You are one of them. You are one of the two. The first one is the one who wrote the lies deliberately, who made the lie. And you, the one who narrated it, you are the second person. You are the second of the two. So it is not a joke to be narrating things that you are not sure of from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and say you are helping with da'wah. No. If you want to really help, uh, there's a corona, there's coronavirus going on. Go and buy sanitizer. Eh? And how do you call it? Face mask or nose mask and go and be helping with it. Eh? Or go and fetch water for people to wash their hands. This this will be better for you. Yeah? It will be better for you if they find out that even coronavirus is a lie. Yeah? Or actually sanitizer doesn't kill coronavirus. You see, this one is not a lie on the process. You work with it by a lie, but it's not against the process, right? Uh-huh. The person the Prophet said, lying against me is not just like lying against someone else. It's different. It's very, it takes you to hellfire. So that's one thing we should know. So let's quickly go to the ahadith. So we don't worship Allah with ahadith or da'ifa. Wal mawdu'a. Wal batila. We don't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all these narrations. So let's go straight to the ahadith that is known on the tongue of people or on the tongues of people and in the minds of people. Number one, so you name them. I will not be able to be numbering them. So when I we finish, then you count them. When you fin we finish, you tell me the number. So number one, 